सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद हेच पैरामीटर्स वी हैव डिस्कस द हेच पैरामीटर्स इन ब्रीफ एंड वी हैव सॉल्व वन क्रिटिकल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू हेच पैरामीटर्स इन अ प्रीवियस सेशन ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम सिंस वी हैव सॉल्व ओनली वन प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू हेच पैरामीटर्स सो आई हैव वन मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्किट हियर दिस लुक्स वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड ट्रस्ट मी दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी ट्रिकी बिकॉज दिस इज वन क्वेश्चन विच हैड कम टू इयर्स बैक इन वन क्वेश्चन पेपर and uh, many of the students were having doubt how to solve this problem because this is very complex if you look it very carefully but it is very easy if you listen to me very carefully you can easily solve it okay so now this is the circuit here we need to find the h parameters in this sir okay so those who have not seen my previous videos please do watch it okay so now i'm going to continue now so this is the circuit here so here now again apply the definition of uh, uh h parameters and try to solve first let us consider v2 equal to 0 so if we consider v2 equal to 0 what we would be getting here is v2 equal to 0 we have two parameters that is h11 and h21 our goal is to find h11 and h21 first using v2 equal to 0 then using i1 equal to 0 we should be finding h12 and h22 okay so hope this is clear first let us solve for v2 equal to 0 that is we should be making this short circuit if this is short circuit we know that we have the equivalent resistance that would be nullified right so that this whole branch would be getting eliminated so now i'll draw that equivalent circuit first and one more thing here we have one dependent source that is minus 0.5 v1 and this loop i have named it as i3 so here this two are the same current sources so this, this is a dependent source but this is a current source right voltage controlled current source okay so this i3 And 0.5 v1 since both are current source, so this both would be equal. So what we can write, we can directly write i3 is equal to minus 0.5 v1. Okay. So this you write it in the box and keep it because this you are you going to use it later. Okay. Now I am writing the equivalent circuit. So here I have reduced this by making this short circuit in order to eliminate make v2 equal to zero. So this one ohm and this resistance we would be getting nullified. We would be having zero resistance here, and we have I have reduced this circuit. I made it. Uh, like this so now we are going to solve this now so here if you see observe very carefully in this part now what is the one more simplification if you observe very carefully we have again one current source and we have one loop current i2 okay this again this current is traveling in this loop so what we can say is i2 is equal to minus of Minus point five v one. Why I have written minus of minus because we can see that the two directions are opposite. Already this value is minus point five, and then again minus. So that would be equal to point five v one. This is the value of i two here. I have concluded. Okay. Now apply KVL for this loop here, loop i one. Okay. Step by step, you should be solving. Apply KVL for loop i one. Start with this v one. That is v one. Then we have minus three into i one. Then we have uh, minus three i two. One dependent source. The outward sign. Give it as this. Then we have minus four into i one plus i two. Right. These two are having same direction. So plus i two equal to zero. That is v one minus three i one minus three i two minus four i one minus four i two equal to zero. So what we'll be left with now? V one minus three minus four is minus seven i one minus three minus four is minus seven i two equal to zero. Okay. So now we have i two here. We can substitute i two as point five v one. That is v one minus seven i one minus seven into point five v one equal to zero. So v one minus seven i one point five into seven. That is equal to Minus three point five v one equal to zero. So one minus three point five that is minus two point five v one minus seven i one equal to zero. Okay. So now this equation, if you observe here, we can find the value of h one one because we have v one i one terms here in this equation. Okay. So what I'll do minus two point five v one is equal to bring this term to other side. That would be plus seven i one. So we need v one by i one, right? So v one i one is equal to seven minus seven divided by this minus sign. I have to get to this side and two point five. I am going to divide it down. So if we simplify this, v one by i one is equal to h one one seven divided by two point five. That is equal to minus two point eight. Okay, you can check it later. 
So this is the value of H11 that is minus 2.8. So like this we have solved it. The first part. Now the next part here is we can should be solving one part is done H11 is done. Okay. Now we are left with H21. Okay. For the condition V2 equal to zero. Now for H21 we need one equation in terms of I1 and I2, right? So we can simplify here only. How we call? How I'll say you how. So if you observe this equation here, name this equation as uh, what to say equation one here because this is necessary here. Now here we have I1, I2 terms are there, but this V1 is obstructing us, right? So um, we can represent this V1 in terms of I1 here by using this equation here. If you observe carefully, that is this V1 bring it to one side. Minus seven into I one bring it up divided by two point five, right? So now V one would be equal to minus seven by two point five. Again, it is minus two point eight I one. Okay, hope this is clear. How I've written, I've just represented this V one in terms of I one, so that this whole equation would be in terms of I one and I two in order to get this value that is H two one. Okay. So I've kept, uh, I took here this part where I've brought V1 to one side and I1 I've shifted it to other side. So that would be cross multiplied minus seven I1 divided by 2.5 minus seven by 2.5 is minus 2.8. So V1 would be equal to minus 2.8 I1. This value I'm going to substitute back in equation one. Now. That is, what is V1 equal to minus 2.8 I1? Then we have minus seven I1. Minus seven i two equal to zero. So minus two point eight minus seven that is equal to minus nine point eight i one is equal to this. I'm bringing to other side that would be plus seven i two. But we needed i two divided by i one, right? In order to get the value of h two one here. Okay. So that is equal to minus nine point eight is here only divided by seven. I'm bringing it to other side. So i two by i one is equal to h two one, right? Okay, that is equal to minus nine point eight divided by seven. That is equal to minus one point four. You can check it later. Put it in the calculator and check it. So you have got H two one here. So two of the we have solved for two of them. One is for H one one, H two one for V two equal to zero. Now we are applying the second condition that is for I one equal to zero. Okay. So when I one equal to zero, what we would be getting? Now for I one equal to zero, again we should be considering the starting circuit here, not this reduced circuit. Okay, in this we have three loops, right? I one, I two, I three. Since we should be making I one equal to zero, this V two would be coming into picture now because V two value is not zero now. So this circuit only take it as the consideration for I one equal to zero. Apply individually mesh analysis for all the loops. Okay, then try to solve it. Okay, first here for this loop I am applying mesh analysis. That is for loop. I one, that is we have V one plus V one, then we have minus three I one, right? Then we have minus three I two dependent source, okay? Then we have minus four into I one minus I three. Since this four is between I one and I three, is equal to zero. But we know that what is the value of I three? If you observe carefully, the value of I three is equal to Minus point five v one, which we have written first. That we should be substituting now. That is v one minus three i one minus three i two minus four i one plus four i three equal to zero. Eliminate all the i one terms since i one equal to zero. We would be left with v one minus three i two plus four and uh, the value of uh, i three is minus point five v one equal to zero. That is v one. Minus three i two point five into four that is minus two v one okay point five into four is two right yeah minus two v one equal to zero that is equal to one minus two is minus v one minus three i two equal to zero so we have got this equation now but here if you observe carefully. We have V1 and I2. We have one V1 here, but this I2 now we should be representing in terms of V2, so that we would be getting the value of H12. So now we cannot be using this equation now. Now what I'll do is I'll apply 
mesh analysis for this loop here and let us see what would be happening why i am applying mesh analysis for loop uh, uh, loop 2 loop i2 because i'll tell you why so now first let us apply for loop i2 okay that is for this loop here let us start from this plus v2 then we have minus of 1 1 ohm right so i am not writing that 1 i2 plus i3 equal to 0 so solve this v2 minus i2 minus i3 equal to 0 right now what we can do is since in this equation we should be replacing the value of i2 right this i2 is obstructing so what i'll do is i2 i'll keep it to one side that is minus i2 is equal to bring these two terms to other side that this would be minus v2 plus i3 so now just to change the polarities just multiply minus on both sides so we would be getting i2 is equal to v2 minus i3 okay so now this here this i2 value i am substituting back in this equation again okay so now what we would be getting let us let us name this equation as equation 2 now equation 2 would be becoming minus v1 minus 3 into what is the value of i2 v2 minus i3 is equal to 0 so now again we can see that we have v1 v2 term according to the question but this i3 is obstructing us but we know that already the value of i3 is equal to minus 0.5 v1 right so now substitute that then we would be getting the whole term in terms of v1 and v2 so minus 3 v2 minus minus plus 3 into the value of i3 is minus 0.5 v1 right that is equal to 0 so minus v1 minus 3 v2 then minus plus minus 0.5 into 3 is 1.5 v1 equal to 0 minus 1 minus 1.5 that is minus 2.5 v1 is equal to minus 3 v2 bring it to other side that would be plus 3 v2 we needed what v1 by v2 so this v2 have brought it down here so here we have 3 then minus 2.5 bring it to other side that is v1 by v2 is what h12 okay so h12 is equal to minus 3 divided by 2.5 if we solve it we would be getting minus 1.2 okay you can check it so we like this we have found three parameters now our next goal is to find the fourth parameter that is h22 right h22 consists of the variables i2 and v2 so now we should be reducing one equation such that that equation would be consisting of only the terms i2 and v2 so how to do it so how we can do it if you observe very carefully this equation only we have one i2 term we should be replacing this v1 in terms of v2 how we can replace v1 in terms of v2 if you observe this equation very carefully okay this part we can uh, replace v1 in terms of v2 that is we have what we have v1 by v2 is equal to minus 3 by 2.5 right so what we can do is v1 in terms of v2 so v1 you keep it in one side v2 you bring it to other side that is minus 3 v2 v2 if you bring it cross multiply that would be multi multi multiplied by 3 divided by 2.5 so v1 is equal to minus 3 by 2.5 is 1.2 v2 so now v1 is equal to 1.2 v2 right now substitute this value of v1 in this equation so that this whole equation now would be in terms of i2 and v2 right so now equation 2 becomes minus of what is the value of uh, v1 minus 1.2 v2 minus 3 i2 equal to 0 so 1 point minus minus plus that is equal to minus 3 i2 bring it to other side 3 i2 so we, we needed what i2 divided by v2 so here we have 1.2 as it is and 3 you bring it to other side so i2 by v2 we know that that is h22 1.2 divided by 3 that is 0 0.4 okay you can check it later 1.2 by 3 is 0 0.4 so like this we have got so all the values of h parameters that is h11 that is minus 2.8 h12 minus 1.2 h21 minus 1.4 and h22 0 0.4 so like this you should be concluding this answer by writing in matrix okay so that's all for this session guys we have solved uh, one problem related to h parameters a multiple times repeated question very confusing but very easy if you uh, analyze the circuit and try to solve it you would be easily solving this problem okay so that's all for this session guys i have covered one single problem which was very important in the next session i'm going to start with t parameters okay so that's all guys like share subscribe to our channel thank you